everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 25, and this is war number 7. And we're going up against an alliance called Blood Plus. Alright, so we're going to take a look at their defense as it pertains to me. And let's go ahead and spectate. Alright, so I'll be going in here in a little bit here. Uh, you can see the middle is pretty cleared already. Uh, I take path three in sections one and two. So first up, I'm going to fight this uh, Spider-Man, Stark Enhanced. Don't anticipate any problems with him, but you never know. Then we've got Medusa, who used to be very, very difficult to fight. We shouldn't have too much trouble uh, with my Black Widow Clairvoyant, who I normally bring in. All right, and then we've got this Iron Man Infinity War, who can be a little bit tricky. Uh, I'm not sure which of the team that I normally bring in. I normally bring in uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant, Warlock, and Nick Fury. Um, I guess Warlock could do it. Uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant could do it uh, if I need to. So if they need help, uh, I can jump in there and do that with uh, her. All right, so now we've got uh, Invisible Woman. Uh, if I have to take her, uh, and she's on this EMP modification node, so you don't want uh, buffs. You don't want someone that relies on a lot of buffs. So uh, Nick Fury can take that fight um, if I need to. Uh, Warlock, um, Probably wouldn't use Warlock. Uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant can do it. I would just need to keep from dexing a lot. And in section two here, we've got uh, Doc Ock, who I don't anticipate any problems. Uh, any of the team that I normally bring in should be able to take him. Uh, and then we've got Black Widow Deadly Origins. The thing that I have to remember when I fight with her is to not attack her when she has that buff up where she's going to evade like crazy. Because uh, it hurts. So if I can remember that, then we should be okay uh, to take her down. Nick Fury can do it. Uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant can do it. And Warlock can do it. And then we have Hyperion. Nick Fury can do that. I might, if, if my Nick Fury is in good shape, then I can do that fight with him. Uh, meaning, if he has the decoy still active. Because then I can tank a special three. Uh, otherwise, you know, if I have just a little bit of health, I might pop a invulnerability boost. But I can do that fight if need be with uh, Nick Fury. All right, now we've got... Oh, oh sorry about that. Uh, now we've got... Uh, mini boss island kingpin is a tough defender and that's a rage node um black widow clairvoyant might be able to do that fight um i just have to be really careful uh kingpin he can be a little bit of a pain we've got cosmic ghost rider um i don't know how that node interacts with him so I'm unfamiliar, um, but Black Widow Clairvoyant, same thing with uh, Vision Arcus over there, Black Widow Clairvoyant. If my Warlock is healthy, Warlock can also do that fight. Then going down, uh, we've got Man-Thing, again, Black Widow or Clairvoyant. Killmonger, I will try to evade, uh, avoid fighting on that node uh, at all possible. Um, but Nick Fury can put a hurting on him especially when Nick Fury gets to the real Nick Fury. Uh, he doesn't have to worry about that stun. And then you've got MODOK up there. Um, there are better options that can be brought in. So usually someone else comes in um, and brings counters for those guys, uh, the backup, and we're good. So um, I will bring in my normal team. And we'll see if we can't get through with most of our health intact. And then we will wait and see uh, if we're asked to help on any of the minis. But that's my plan right now. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, so 
We'll be right back and we'll find out just how I do in this fighting. All right, so let's get on to the fighting. As you can see, I'm going in with the standard team of Black Widow Clairvoyant, Warlock, and Nick Fury. All right, so uh, I take path three in sections one and two. And the first fight we are going to come up against is this Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. Now, I use Spider-Man Stark Enhanced uh, to uh, fully explore Labyrinth of Legends. He did all the fights that he was capable of uh, for me in there. So I'm pretty well versed in Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. He was also my first five star uh, that I took to Max Sig because I just kept pulling him. I must have pulled him over seven times. All right. So fighting against him is not too difficult, but there's something a lot of people may not realize uh, when it comes to his evading, he has two evades. Okay, you have one evade that is more or less a general evade and another one for specials. So if you go up against him with a cosmic or you do a heavy attack, it'll shut down his AI. So the specials, he won't evade, but he still has his regular evade. So you have to watch out for that when you're fighting him. That's why you don't see me going uh, too aggressive. See all that evading there? That's his general evade. Look at that. So uh, you don't want to go and overcommit yourself when you're fighting him because he can do that. Uh, it's a low chance, but just like Black Widow has a low chance to evade, he seems to evade a lot. You saw how much he evaded there. You know, he was acting like he was a OG Spider-Man. Uh, but we got him down. Uh, without too much difficulty. I wasn't too worried about that. Um, I still have the life model decoy to play around with. Uh, so even if uh, we had taken a couple of shots, we would have been fine. Uh, the next fight is against Medusa. And I remember when Medusa used to be used for the final boss. That's how difficult she was to fight. Uh, people with Corvus would um, boost up and even then you had to learn how to fight her. And I had gotten to the point where I knew how to fight her, uh, stun immune and all that good stuff. But if the AI was overly aggressive, it would catch me by surprise sometimes and I would get wrecked. But that's not this Medusa. Uh, we've got plenty counters now for this Medusa. And as you can see, uh, we know how to fight her and she was not too much of a problem. So now we've got this guy up here. And I assumed because both of my alliance mates were, you know, waiting there that they wanted me to take this fight. Uh, I didn't ask and uh, I didn't check before I did the fight, but I was pretty sure. All right. So Iron Man Infinity War can be a very annoying and difficult opponent. Uh, I remember when he was first... Uh, entered the contest he got me I forget it was something like 30 or 40 kills and it was the four star Iron Man Infinity War is on a power gain node people didn't know how to fight him uh, I practiced against him uh, you saw me I got caught by that auto uh, block uh, but I practiced and at the time, I was using, Cor uh, not Corvus, I was using Hyperion. And I timed the heavies to counter his heavy. Never lost against him on that node with Hyperion. Uh, later, I got Corvus. Never lost with Corvus against him. So, uh, he was difficult, but once you get it down and you get that heavy and nowadays reparrying, uh, you can handle him pretty easily. And as you saw, we were able to take him down. Uh, we didn't lose much health at all. All right, so I went as far as I could go there. And we came back. And uh, they had already gone on, opened up uh, section two. And so now I'm going to fight this Doc Ock. Now, this path is great for Black Widow Clairvoyant. Uh, no matter who they've put on here, 
Claire generally uh, is able to handle it. Uh, but, you know, she's not the only one. Uh, for this one, I could have also used Nick Fury if I had to. But generally, you want a bleed immune, so Warlock would have done perfectly for this, okay? Uh, so here we go, going up against Doc Ock. Now, I can evade his special too, but sometimes I have problems with it, and it'll catch me. So I try to bait out his special one instead. Uh, I remember when he first came to the contest, all those arms waving around, they dazzled me. And I had a hard time just evading. Uh, but I've gotten used to them, and I can pretty much evade without too much difficulty here. All right. Um, here we go. We baited out another special one. There we go. We're going to try to build up to a special two. All right. And on her special two in Curse of Blood, that's how she gets her health. And you saw we were able to get a lot of our health back just before we finished him. That was by design. Love Claire. Very versatile, lots of utility, and she's sustainable. All right, so next up, we've got Black Widow Deadly Origins. Now, Black Widow Deadly Origins can be tricky to fight, and I've gotten wrecked by her many a time. And I've gotten pretty decent at fighting her these days. All right, but just in case I brought in Nick Fury so that I would have that little leeway with the life model decoy. So what I'm doing here, just straight attacking her until she gets a special. All right, now when she fires off this special, uh, you will see that she gets an evade buff. All right, so we're evading that, boom. Now she has that evade. Do not attack her when she has that up, okay? That's how you get wrecked. So that's why you see me just parrying, waiting it out, and now I'm going in. That's how I got wrecked. You know, got impatient. Now, the other thing you can do, of course, is parry and then do a one-two hit combo. All right, but you see, I'm just waiting that out. I'm in the corner where I don't want to be. I don't like it, but here we go. Boom, finish it off with a special two, and we're done. What often happened when I did get wrecked by her is that I was impatient. I did not wait out that buff. She evaded and put a shock on me that just tore me up. So did not like that. Now, again, we've got uh, my alliance mates uh, kind of hovering here uh, around this Hyperion. Now he has strike counter, power rate, and buffet. So I am, I could take this with Claire. She can nullify his power gain buff, but she really doesn't handle the buffet part unless I go into um, the Curse of Plague, which is the poison, and just put a lot of poisons on them and combine with the Despair Mastery. But you'll notice that I went ahead and boosted up because I'm planning to go just full force. Try not to dex, just go in. Okay, and that's what you see me doing here. All right, we're just gonna tank that special three. We can do that three times on that buff. You see my health not moving at all. That is the power of that invulnerability buff. Okay, now why it's blank like this, this is what the game did. Lagged on me. Uh, that's one of the reasons I want to um, pretty much upgrade my iPad. But in any case, he's going down and done. All right, so that was it. That was all I did in this war. And we will take a brief intermission. And you'll find out how this war ended. All right, so we're going to go to Mini Boss Island here so you can just kind of see a little bit. But you saw that earlier uh, in the uh, first part. And we're back. And as you can see, we lost this war. Uh, congrats to Blood Plus. Uh, they fought well. Uh, they died less than we did. Uh, and they had better diversity. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hopefully we will win the next war. Take care. And you all have a blessed day.